Hello, Great Falls, Montana. Dan Claus with Taylor's Auto Max here today to talk to you about trade-ins. You know, whenever I'm not at work, the number one question I get from my family and friends is, how does a dealer look at taking in a trade, and what's the best way for a consumer to maximize the dollars in their vehicle when dealing with a dealer? So let's get started on that. The first couple things we're going to ask any customer is going to be, has your vehicle ever been totaled out or salvaged? Is it a lemon law buyback? Has it ever been in a fire or flood? Some of those basic questions. We also run an auto check on every vehicle we look at taking in just to verify that the vehicle does have a clean tire and that we will be able to retail it. Once we get done with the basics, we start on the exterior of the vehicle. We've all been trained to come over and start at this exact corner, and we start looking for it immediately. We're looking for hail. We're looking for any dents and dings, any kind of rust, any kind of bubbling in the paint. Um, as you can see, going through this vehicle is pretty nice and clean rig. We're also going to be looking to see if there's any kind of rust coming up through on the frame. As we continue to no go around, we're noticing that damage. We're also putting down any additional options on this vehicle. So this vehicle in question obviously has got premium ribs and oversized tires, also has a tonneau cover. We do give credit for that on all of our appraisals. We're going to go through, check to make sure the bumper looks good. We're going to check the interior of the box, make sure that, that looks good. As we continue around, still looking for that body damage, any scratches, any large dents, any of that, we're going to notate on it. Likewise, we're going to notate how clean the vehicle is as well. Once we get all, all the way around on the vehicle, we move to the interior on it. And whenever we look at the interior of the vehicle, right off the bat, we're going to look, does this thing have a lot of dog hair in it? Is it been smoked in heavily? Is it soiled? Is the back seat been destroyed by the kids? All of those kinds of things. And as we look at that, in our minds, we're trying to come up with the best possible value of what it's going to take to get this thing retail ready. Once we get done with the interior, once again, we notice all those additional options that you have. We come and look at your windshield. We want to make sure that the windshield is clean. No stars, no cracks. Make sure that we can have a clean windshield for that next customer. Once we verify that, we move on to the tires. We want to make sure that the tires have enough tread depth that it is appealing to the next customer who's going to buy it. If we have to get tires, we absolutely knock for that for what the cost of the tires would be. After that, we take the vehicle for a test drive. And on the test drive, um, it's fairly short. We get it up to highway speeds. We're listening for vibrations. Um, is there a problem with the alignment? How are the brakes working? Is the suspension still tight? Is there any ticking in the motors? Is the tranny slipping funny? We can tell a lot in a pretty quick drive if there's any major mechanical problems with the vehicle. After that, we get it back. Our sales managers will take that information. They go into the sales tower. They plug it into a V-Auto software system, which basically shows us what this vehicle is selling all across the United States and for how much. That's the true market value of the vehicle. As a general rule, we try to price ourselves below retail. That helps us move our vehicles quickly. When we're looking at the trade, we'll get an actual market value for that trade-in minus any potential damages that we see. If your vehicle came in as clean as this one is, we're actually probably gonna go the other direction and pay you more for it. What we look for is how Retail ready is the vehicle you're bringing in and trade. Is it going to require a robust time in the shop? Is it going to be a very difficult recon? Do we need to get tires? Do we need to get a windshield on it? All of those things will downgrade the value of your trade. So the, the good news is wash your car before you bring it in. Give it a light vac. I'm not saying go spend a bunch of money on it. If you've got an O2 sensor and a check engine light showing, get that taken care of. It's very cheap. That way it shows clean to us. The cleaner the vehicle looks when it comes in, the more we're going to pay for it. It's really just that simple. If you ever want a free bid, the market right now has never been hotter on used cars. They have never been worth more. That's due to COVID and the lack of new inventory across the country. We do look at Kelly and NADA, but those are more guides. We truly look at what vehicles are going for at auction. What is your trade going for across the block? And two of our owners are full-time used car buyers. That's all they do. It is our business. So if you're at home and you've got a trade in, you might like to maximize. Now is the time. You'll never get more money for it. Feel free to give us a call. Myself, any one of the sales managers or the tailors are always happy to give you a bid on your trade-in. That's all I have for today. Thank you for your time and have a great day.